What is OPMS? The OPMS, or the Online Permitting Monitoring System for PTO, is a premier web application developed by the Environmental Management Bureau of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources that offers end-to-end -end solutions for environmental compliance, specifically for air pollution source installation or equipment. Air Pollution Source Installation, or APSI, refers to any building or fixed structure, facility, or installation that emits or may emit any air pollutant. Examples include generator sets, boilers, rice mills, furnaces, kilns, turbines. Help us safeguard the future of our environment by following these seven easy steps. To access OPMS for PTO, go to emb.gov.ph. Click on Air Quality Management Permits, then proceed to PTO Online. RA8749 or Clean Air Act states that all sources of air pollution subject to implementing rules and regulations must have a valid PTO. Any equipment or activity that has the potential to emit regulated pollutants should be covered by a valid PTO. To know if you are required to secure a PTO, please head on to air.emb.gov.ph. Then go to Laws and Policies for Air Quality Management tab, then download the EMB Memorandum Circular No. 2020-17 and read Annex C. Regarding the category of your Air Pollution Source Installation or APSI, download EMB Memorandum Circular No. 2007-003 and view Annex 2. Reminder: New applications required for emission testing must secure a temporary permit to operate or TPTO. To be able to fully access the OPMS, fill out the registration form with the correct details. The system will ask you to provide a copy of your company ID or any non-government issued ID, a copy of a government issued ID, and an authorization letter from your company. Carefully read the terms and conditions and once agreed, click the submit button. Step 1. General Information Please select one of the four application types from the drop-down menu. New Temporary is for sources which require source emission testing valid for 90 days. Once the TPTO is issued and after you have conducted source emission testing, you may now apply for Temporary to Regular PTO. Regular, 5 years, only apply to sources which are not required for source emission testing. 30 days before expiration, you must renew your application. Click View Requirements to get the list of files required for Step 6. We advise you to prepare these documents beforehand for a seamless application. Please fill out the required information accordingly. Here's a useful tip for you. To determine your location, copy and paste the correct geographical coordinates from Google Maps. After pinning your coordinates, Continue to fill out the Appropriate Environmental Impact Assessment or EIA category of your company. Reminder, to know the EIA category of your company, download the Revised Guidelines for Coverage, Screening, and Standardized Requirements or EMB MC 2014-005. You may also refer to your Environmental Compliance Certificate or ECC or Certificate of Non-Coverage, or CNC, to verify your EIA category. If you are an accredited PCO, please input your accreditation number and validity. If you are an appointed PCO, please input the date of PCO application submission. Step 2. APSI and APCD When you're done, proceed to the APSI and APCD form. Prepare your APSI and its corresponding Air Pollution Control Device, or APCD, with complete specifications. Here's a tip for applicants with multiple APSI 
APCD, and stack. Download the respective CSB template for easy input. Carefully read the instructions and fill out the form. Connect the correct APSI to APCD to stack. You can do this by clicking the drop-down of the appropriate APSI, APCD, stack. Another tip is to view the diagram to verify your input. Step 3. Stack testing information. If your facility is not required to conduct stack sampling, you may skip this part and proceed to the next step. For applicants with stack sampling, select the stack tester that conducted the sampling and the laboratory that conducted the analysis. Please fill out the required information accordingly. Please provide additional information such as the operational status of the APSI and APCD. Step 4. Pollutant Details In this part of the application, state the quantities and types of pollutants as per your emission test report. You may click the Add button to insert more pollutants. Step 5. After filling out the details, download the application form and verify the details that you have input. Reminder, please print, sign, and upload your application form in the next step. Step 6. On this part, please upload the corresponding file per requirement. The system accepts the following file types .jpg, .png, .pdf, and .gif. Make sure that the file size of each file will not exceed 20 MB. An asterisk indicates that the item is required. Click this button to confirm upload. Do not forget to click the Finalize Application to finally lodge your application with DMB. Step 7. Payment Fees Congratulations! You're a step closer to finishing your PTO application. Please wait for the assessment of your application form to determine the amount you will pay. The PTO fee will depend on the number of APSI you are planning to operate. You may pay via two options, EMB Regional Office Cashier or Land Bank Link Biz Portal or Online Payment. For payment confirmation, upload the transaction receipt in the OPMS. Issuance of PTO You may track your application by opening your OPMS account and clicking My Applications. Please give the EMB a maximum of 20 working days to issue the PTO upon the completion of the requirements. Regularly check your OPMS account as our EMB personnel may have questions or clarifications. In the event that it is past 20 days, you may send a follow-up letter 
or email to the EMB regional office. You may find the EMB directory in our website. Here are some of your frequently asked questions. Does PTO have an expiration? A regular PTO has a validity of 5 years. A temporary PTO has a validity of 90 days and you must conduct a mission test for permitting purposes. If your APSI has any changes, you must apply for an amendment. Can we renew our application using OPMS for PTO? You must renew your PTO 30 days before it expires via OPMS. My application was archived? What does archived mean? These are applications that are found to be exempted from securing PTO. Dormant applications or applications wherein the proponent did not update for more than six months will be archived in the system. A notification will be sent to the proponent whenever this happens. Additional reminder. New temporary, 90 days, must be applied by companies whose sources are required to conduct source emission testing. Temporary to regular, 4 years and 9 months, must be applied after conducting source emission testing. New regular, 5 years, must be applied by companies whose sources are not required to conduct source emission testing. Renewal, 5 years, must be applied 30 days before expiry. Please regularly check your compliance to your permit conditions. Congratulations! You have successfully applied your permit to operate air pollution source, installation, or equipment. Thank you for being DENR-EMB's partner in keeping our air clean and securing the safety of our health. After acquiring your permit to operate certificate, make sure to post the permit on or near the APSI. This permit must be visible and accessible at all times. For more queries and technical support, please send us an email at support at emb.gov.ph. For your application updates, you may get in touch with the EMB Regional Office with jurisdiction. For other online permitting requirements, visit our website at emb.gov.ph. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at, at D-E-N-R and Bureau. Thank you for being our partner in environmental compliance.